Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video where we are going to be hauling some recent happy mail of mine. And I did do a poll over on my Instagram, which is linked down below in case you want to give me a follow. But I did do a poll over there on if you guys wanted to see a happy mail haul or if you wanted to see my entire kit collection with a bit of a declutter element to it. And actually my kit collection did win by 52%, 48% wanted the haul, but I was thinking about it afterwards and it was such a close margin and there's a ton of kits in this pile here today and I was thinking about it and I want these kits to be a part of my kit collection because I do have a goal in mind for how big I want my kit collection to be, how many kits I need to declutter and it wasn't going to be fair to show that collection video without these being a part of it because otherwise I was going to declutter, hit my goal and then add a bunch of kits back into it. So I figure you know what? It was a close enough margin that I think people will be okay with seeing another haul video. So without further ado, there's a lot to go through today. So I have a feeling this might be a long one. Uh, so grab your snacks, grab your drink, and let's get right into it. So first up, we have Christine's Paper Studio, who, of course, I am obsessed with. I am on her PR team, so you can use code LAURA30 to save, um, and that's a 30% discount, which is, like, phenomenal. Um, but I will say her shop is currently on vacation, so I apologize. You can't check her out just yet, but I believe she's opening up within the next couple of weeks, and she has sneaked some of her new releases and you guys aren't ready. Like they are phenomenal. She always hits it right out of the park. Even like segue here, but her business card is perfection. So beautiful, like soft touch matte, like premium card stock here. So pretty. And then on the back, she's got this little floral arrangement. It says grow at your own pace. And it is perfect to like put in your planner as a little journaling card. So cute. I love that little extra touch that she has. She also threw in a ton of freebies. She always spoils me with the freebies here. So she was in the Made in Canada collab sale. So this was the freebie from that. We've got a few different like um, scallop corners, some flags and layering pieces, really pretty. And then this is my freebie. Well, I guess I should say this was my freebie. I decided to make some changes um, for my summer PR freebie. I changed it to silver. I don't know, I was just like feeling in a silver mood. So I changed from this gold freebie to a silver one. And I did change out some of the um, floral pieces up here, like this one. I just like, I was finding it hard to use this floral piece myself. So I decided to put in some of her bow icons instead, and they are so adorable. I think you guys are really gonna like my new freebie. So make sure to put my name in the notes to seller to get that. And then she does have other PR girls. So I have a couple of their freebies here in case you want to check them out as well. So we have Coco Lux Designs. We also have the Virgo Plans and then Plan with Cherry Ann. So, you know, depending on your style, what you like, um, definitely make sure you can use one of their codes as well. And then this was the all orders freebie. I got one in silver and one in gold, which is gorgeous. All right, so on to my actual order here. The first thing that I picked up were these botanical deco pieces, and I actually have these in all of the foil colors, so I decided to grab them in black. I thought they were just like a really nice, subtle addition to a spread. Really pretty, really cute for layering. I just love them so much. And then these are my favorite things ever. I love them so much. I've been really into um, little foiled icons lately as opposed to like character stickers. I am finding that like this is just like where my style is starting to gravitate towards. I still love my character stickers. I'm still going to use them. But there's something about like a nice simple bow icon that I just really, really love. And I think her bow icons are some of my favorite because they are very unique. 
there's some in here that like I never would have thought to include like she's got like a paint palette here uh, a game controller you've got this little bikini which like how adorable is that we've got a barbecue some pillows a tooth I don't know I just really really love the icons that she has included in here and I think it's a really good variety of things that you might need just every once in a while and then your everyday staples so these are on her white paper so we have the gold the rose gold and I would say her rose gold to me leans a little bit more to the copper side versus like really pinky um, but it is a pretty true rose gold in my opinion and then we also have a silver which is gorgeous you can't go wrong with silver which is actually why I decided to choose silver because it is such a versatile foil and I also picked up her bow deck or sorry bow icons in clear as well because you know you like to have options so really really pretty and I got those in all three foils now let's get into these kits because holy smokes this kit here is called Canadiana and I I don't even know what to say about this kit. I just love it so much. Every year I struggle to find a Canada Day kit that I truly love. And I can say without hesitation, this is the best Canada Day kit I have ever seen in my life. And to me, the reason I love it so much is because it's not just red and white all over the place. It's got red, it's got white, but it also ties in these beautiful colors from, of course, Hudson's Bay Company. Um, and it's just, it feels so Canadian to me and I absolutely love it. Ugh, the foiling, of course, is so beautiful too with gold. I am a huge fan of this. And it's just got like elements that I think are gorgeous. These stripes, of course, from Hudson's Bay Company, just so quintessential Canadian here. We've got like the quote from O Canada, true north, strong and free, uh, going canoeing or kayaking, a little like hiking scene down here with these gorgeous like red and white florals. I think it is such a beautiful pop of color and of course like the mustard yellow you cannot go wrong with that oh I love it so much so we have our nine full boxes up here in the uh, top you do have some corner scallops as well and then this next page is a lot of your different functional items. There are some little layering pieces hidden up here at the top. You have your sidebar stuff, your habit trackers, some longer flags. These are your different uh, foiled header options, which are so beautiful. We have some flags, your bow checklist flags, and then how beautiful is this section down here with these different like wreath boxes and then your weekend banner as well. So pretty. This bot, or sorry, this sheet I always say is my absolute favorite because it is just an abundance of boxes to choose from. And they all are like slightly different. You have some that are foiled, some that aren't, some have notched corners, some are scalloped. You have a good variety of sizes of like, you know, quarter boxes, third size boxes, and just a few half boxes down here at the bottom. I just think it is like the perfect mix of boxes here. So, so pretty. And then you do have have some shapes up here along the top she's great at utilizing like all of the space here to get like the most stickers possible so you have a couple like washi strips and some arrows and then down here at the bottom you do have some extra layering pieces as well and then can we just appreciate this amazing bottom washi? I love it with the stripes here and the little bit of floral accents. And then you have like a mountain pattern up in the yellow as well, so pretty. And then we have our date covers and then an extra set of headers here with just a simple bow and then another box down at the bottom. So, so pretty. Oh, this is gonna be my favorite Canada Day spread ever. I can just like I feel it I know it's going to be good and she also recently started selling deco pages as an add-on as well and I love these with all the different like floral pieces the little hiking boots are so cute and the sweater as well so cannot wait you guys will be seeing this in an upcoming plan with me very very soon
The next kit that I have is called Latte, and I'm sure this one is like a fan favorite. It is really, really pretty. The color palette here is just, I don't, it's everything. It's got your really pretty pinks and mauves, some like deeper purples and browns. It's just, it's gorgeous. And I love the rose gold foiling. I feel like I haven't used a rose gold kit in a while, so I am excited to use this one. The quote box here is really, really cute too. Um, We've got coffee liquid that smells like fresh ground heaven. And ain't that the truth? So pretty. And of course, the kit format is the same. So I'll just quickly show you guys the different pages here. Oh, that foiling. It's just so pretty. This color scheme here. Oh, love it. And then all of the boxes. I think this is great too because this is such a neutral palette that like I feel like even if I don't use a lot of these boxes in the spread, I could carry them over and use in so many different spreads. Really gorgeous bottom washi too. Oh, so pretty. And then the deco add-on for this one I thought was really cool and really different since there wasn't like clip art to go with it. She did these like different swatches and different layering pieces that I think is like really fun and gonna add like a lot of dimension to the spread. So uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I love Christine's Paper Studio. You have to check her out when she opens up her shop again. You will not be disappointed. She is amazing. And don't forget to use code Laura30 to save. All right, so I zoomed in here a bit because we do have some smaller sheets, so I wanna be able to show you guys the detail. So this is from Murdoch Talks, and I was waiting for this order. Oh, I was so, so excited because this is 100% like me in stickers. I went over the moon when she released this for a $2 Tuesday because it's just everything. I wanted to buy a million sheets, like no lie. Wanted to buy them all, but of course, Bank account won't allow it, but that's okay. So I do have a discount code to Murdoch Talks. It's Laura10 to save 10%, or I do have a referral link if you are new to her shop and wanna check that out instead. So this is my freebie with her shop and is in silver foil. And I've recently actually switched my freebie up with her shop as well. Uh, instead of these bow headers, you are going to be getting the leopard print headers instead because they are my favorite and I just love them so much that I needed them to be a part of my freebie. So when Ashley suggested it, I was like, yes, 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 need that right now. So this is my old freebie. Uh, just note my new one will have the leopard headers there instead, but still silver foil. So Ashley was also a part of the Made in Canada spring sale. So this was the freebie for that weekend, which is really pretty in the silver. So just think you'll be getting these headers instead of these ones instead. I wish I could like put it over top, but that's what you'll be getting. All right, and then she also has this adorable little Coco character who is a koala, so we have that freebie as well. So, oh, let's get into these bundles. I, oh, I love them so, so much. I picked up two bundles here in the gold foil, and this is a light gold, and I, I'm such a fan of light gold versus your like hot, you know, brassy gold. This is just so pretty and neutral and just like a creamy gold. I love it. So first up we have the leopard print headers, which how gorgeous are those? We also have the full box overlays, which I am obsessed with. And then we have the bottom washi as well. So you have a strip of the leopard print and then the bows as well, which is gorgeous. So I picked up two of the light gold bundles because I have a feeling light gold is going to be the one that I will use the most. I also decided to pick up rose gold because I do have a fair amount of kits that have animal print that rose gold would tie into quite nicely, but the bundle is the same, just these three sheets. So we have the headers, the full boxes, and that gorgeous bottom washi. I love it so much. And that this is the $2 Tuesday of all $2 Tuesdays. This is my favorite foil that has ever, ever, ever been released. And this is her leopard print foil. And like, let me show you here in these icons, it actually has like gold and black and like brown little specks. Like it is legit 
leopard print foil. Like I cannot get over this. I never would have expected this to even be a foil option, but like it's perfection. I have no idea when I'm going to use this. I just want to use it all the time because I am obsessed. So this is her full $2 Tuesday bundle. Of course, I had to pick up all the sheets because I just needed this foil in my life. So we have these circle icons here, which you get a ton of them and a really good variety. We also have our date numbers. We have the corner overlays, so a little bit of deco, and then the weekend banner. And then I think this is an add-on sheet. I feel like it doesn't come with the bundle, but I could be wrong. Uh, but you do get your whole reinforcers, and then you have some of these little like half-cut headers in case you are doing that bougie look and you wanna add them in between your spread. And then you have the little emojis and check marks at the bottom there. This one is the header overlays in that same leopard print, which, oh, so pretty. I don't think my camera is picking up the shine of this foil, but there is a really, really interesting shine because of all the different like color and dimension to it. And then we have the full box overlays, the bottom washi overlay, which oh, so pretty. I feel like you don't get the leopard print as much, obviously in these like little confetti pieces, but when you have like bigger spots of it, like in this, it's so gorgeous. Actually almost reminds me of like a tortoise shell or something like that too. So gorgeous. And then we have our script sampler as well. And then last but not least, you have your kiss cut icons, which you actually see the leopard print quite well in the kiss cut icons as well. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm such a sucker for leopard print. It is my all time favorite and I love this. I love that Ashley released this foil and not just like the pattern, but also the true leopard print foil. I just think that is amazing. So make sure to use code Laura 10 to save at Murdoch Talks. And next up, I have an order in from Miri Me Bell. I actually think, yeah, this is two orders. I, yeah, I have a couple here. So first up, I wanted to show you this gorgeous kit. I saw a lot of kits actually release this artwork, but I knew I was gonna pick it up from Miri because I just love her new kit format. I love what she has done with, um, the foil, I will say. So she has separated the foil, so now you can buy it as an add-on versus it being on the kit itself. And I just feel like that gives me a lot more flexibility. I really do enjoy it a lot. So first up here is Coffee Break, and this is so pretty. The muted colors here are just like my absolute favorite. I'm really feeling this vibe lately, and I just think this is like so, so pretty. This fashion girl here is my all-time favorite. She is gorgeous. She is cool. I oh, love her so much. So this is the full box page. So you have eight full boxes and then some half boxes up here along the top. And then on the next sheet here, we do have your bottom washi, which you have like a thinner strip along the top and then some thicker ones here. And then you have some extra little washi strips to pull in and then your weekly sidebar items there. This page has changed up a bit. So we have our date covers and then these are your headers. So I think you'll remember in her old kit format, these were all bow headers. Of course, that's when they were all foiled, but now she's added in some patterned options, which I really, really like. So you have two solid options and then two patterns, which I think is so perfect and definitely is gonna bring a lot more dimension. And you guys know, I wasn't a fan of the all bows look but I think this just gives you so much more flexibility and I love 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 it we also have a few boxes down here along the bottom with like quarter boxes and half boxes and then this next sheet, you have some labels, uh, your habit trackers, a few more of these like third size boxes, flags, heart checklists, a few like functional deco items, and your Hello Weekend banner. And then love this page so much. You get two extra full boxes. In this case, they're both fashion girls. And again, 
absolute perfection. You have a bunch of different like layering options over here. So still with some flags, I think that was a part of her old kit as well, but there's some that are like patterned, like skinnier, fatter, so cute. And then lots of different like hexagons, circles, these little arrows as well. Really, really cool and definitely fun to play around with. And then you have more box options here. So many different sizes, half box, quarter box, labels. Oh, so much fun here. We have a few movie marquees and then a few extra boxes along the bottom. So you definitely will not run out of boxes using this format you have so many good options and then up here along the top so these are like washi strips but they are I think header size so depending on what you want to use you could probably pull those in as well and then your little things and then lots of really cute deco here at the side which oh, I just love all of this so much and as I mentioned so the foil is separate now so I decided to go with champagne foil I just thought the like neutral colors of this kit would go really well with this like really soft like champagne almost like ivory gold so pretty so you do have the bottom washi overlay and then the full box overlays as well and I'm pretty sure these line up exactly with the boxes on this page so this box here goes over top of this this is for that like you know what I mean like they match up exactly with the sheet so you don't have to guess what goes where so that is the first kit that is called coffee break and i love it the next one here is called beach day and this one is so pretty i have no plans of going to the beach this year uh, but who knows maybe the summer just seems to always fly by but i hope that i get to use this kit maybe we'll take a trip to port dover or something like that and i'll get to use this but awesome awesome colors here really does make me think of summer and i love it so this is the same format as the last one that I showed you, of course, just different colors, different patterns. Uh, I love the headers. These patterns are so pretty. Yeah, I am a huge fan of that change. That is like probably my favorite change that she has made to her kits. And these are the extra full boxes in this case, really gorgeous. This girl with the flowers, I love that so much. And then all of the deco, a little bit large in terms of the deco pieces here, but that might be fun to try and work into a spread, you know, get, get creative with it. So that is a beach day. The next kit we have is Staycation. And again, really, really fun and beautiful summer kit. A lot more like muted kit uh, colors versus the kit previously, which is a little bit more pastel, but really gorgeous nonetheless. I think this is really, really pretty artwork. This is probably like more my speed for the summer versus going to a beach. It's more like sitting poolside and, you know, reading a book. I love this flat lay here with the Twix and Almond Joy that is like perfection so pretty and again same format just a different kit here with different colors this terrazzo print is really really pretty I think the darker colors are really going to ground this spread and make it you know pop a lot I love this fashion girl here she is gorgeous really fun and then I picked silver foil to go with this. I thought with the blues, silver might be really fun. I don't know, I'm kind of questioning if I should have done hollow now, but you know what, maybe this is a case where I'll do silver as like the base of the kit and then pull in maybe a fun foil, like a pink or something like that as well. So that is Staycation. And last but not least, we have the July monthly kit. So every month, um, Miriam e. Bell does release one kit that is exclusive for that month only. So I just picked up the August kit. So they do come out like fairly um, early or like in advance of the month with the idea that you can use them in the month that it's for. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend them and you do get a few little extras uh, if you wanna pick them up. And I believe you can actually subscribe to it and you get a bit of a discount when you subscribe for like a longer term. So definitely something to check out if you're interested. The artwork that she 
always picks for her monthly kits are typically like my favorite ones that she does. So yeah, just something to keep in mind, but uh, I'll show you here the extras from the July monthly. We have all of this adorable like foil deco and stuff, really, really gorgeous, fun to pull in. You also got this tall box here of the fashion girl who is gorgeous. I chose red hair. I thought the red hair just like really matched the vibe of this kit overall. So I chose red. And then you also get a journaling card, which in this case it is double sided. So you get both skin tones here, which is gorgeous too. Fun to pull into uh, your planner. So here is the July monthly kit. Again, these colors just drew me in. I'm definitely in a very like muted place right now and really feeling the vibe of this overall. But I thought a kit like this would go so well with that leopard print foil. Um, maybe not like the leopard print one, but the patterned one. Do I still have it out? Yeah. Like I just, I don't know. It gives me vibes that it would go really nicely. You've got like the palm trees and this like tropical element. I feel like that goes really nicely with animal print. So I'm excited to pull that in together, but that's just the vibe that I'm getting here. This one is foiled. So you do have the bottom washi up here along the top that is foiled. And then we are back to the foiled bow headers, which yeah, not my favorite. And then you do have the bow boxes along the bottom. Again, I could get rid of the bows, but I tend to just make it work within my spreads. And then this page here, nothing different, just a change of colors. However, this page, all of your layering pieces are foiled with little like sprinkles of confetti and i think that is so fun i love it it just adds a little something special to them and really really pretty and in this case you do get a double box scene which is awesome and then your final page here which i will probably pull these in as headers just in terms of my preference and then we have some deco and the little things which is great so that was the july monthly kit from Mary me bell i do suggest like checking out her monthly kits i think they're really fun and a really good value especially if it's something like you're interested in subscribing to but i do have a code so you can use code laura15 to save and of course that will be in the description box below I hope you guys are really liking kits today because that seems to be the theme of the day is just like going through an abundance of kits, which I think you guys can see now why I need to do a kit declutter so badly uh, because kits are my favorite and I can't stop buying them. So next up we have Caress Press and she tends to release a lot of her mystery kits in shop and I'm not subscribed, but I do love her mystery kits. So when I saw these were in shop, I decided to go in and grab them. So the first one here is the Cyber Monday mystery, which when I saw everyone hauling this back in December, I was like, yes, I need this. It's so pretty. It just gives me like breakfast club vibes, a real like 90s feeling to it. And I don't know, I have a soft spot for the 90s. So I love it. I love these colors so much too so could not resist it I think this was the essentials version of the kit if I'm not mistaken um, which is I think her third tier of kit so it's like not the smallest but maybe the second smallest anyway um, yes yeah, so we have our full boxes which again I just thought they were really fun really pretty um, and the colors just drew me in like look at these these are so beautiful i cannot wait to use this the yellow is gorgeous especially with this like blue oh i am a huge fan love the patterned boxes here as well you have some bill dues which i never use but i do know that some people especially with like functional planning love to pull these in and then we have some headers up there at the top and then the glitter headers do come with the kit here. You have some washi strips. I love these squared boxes as well. And then these look to be washi strips too. All of the headers and little things. Okay, now I'm thinking this isn't an essentials kit because I don't think essentials comes with little things. So I can't remember what this kit was called then. Maybe this is the full kit. Now that I'm like seeing all of this, okay, I don't even remember what I buy. 
Okay. Um, okay. So this is ultimate kit. So I apologize. I thought I bought the essentials cause that's like normally what I go for, but this is the ultimate one. So you do have some work labels here, your weekly sidebar stuff, some habit trackers. I think some people use this maybe as like a spending tracker or a step tracker or something like that. And then you have your ombre heart checklist your bottom washi, extra full box date covers and date dots, which is awesome. And then this last page here, we have our heart checklist flags, lots of deco, your weekend banner, really cute like functional deco pieces and some flags, which is so pretty. I love this kit so much. The colors just did it for me. Oh, I totally forgot to show you guys. I did get some freebies with my order. So first up, we got this little rose gold one with the full box overlay and some scripts. And then this one that says choose happy and like this really cool geometric pattern full box overlay. So totally forgot to show you guys those. And with the Cyber Monday mystery kit, there was a really fun foil bundle. So I decided to pick this up as well, which I thought was really cute. Uh, it is like a sparkly hollow color. And I think she was calling this like rainbow Lux pattern because it does have a few of those different like Lux icons in there with the rainbow as well, which is really, really cute. So these are little deco pieces. We have some header overlays. It looks like quarter box box overlays, some icons, your weekend banner, and a full like four sets here of header overlays. You have eight full box overlays that have the little sprinkling of the Lux pattern and rainbows. And then the last page here are um, some scripts, some whole reinforcements, your bottom washi overlays, and some flag overlays, which is really fun. And I think that's going to go so nicely with the Cyber Monday mystery. The next mystery kit that I picked up was the December mystery. And again, this one just drew me in. It is called Just Peachy. And I think it's a really fun mix of a lot of different elements here. So we've got like some baking and cooking elements, like making some peach ice cream, it looks like. Um, but then also some like artistic elements with this like painting flat lay uh, and this peach flat lay. I just think that's really, really cute. And again, the colors drew me in so I needed to have this and this one I got in the full kit version so I think one step down from the ultimate I think when it comes to the mysteries it was just kind of like whatever is available so I think that's why I didn't get the essentials but anyway um love all of this pattern here like that is honestly my favorite part of this I love the patterns this like watercolor element to it I think is really really fun so love this kit oh these colors so pretty this like deeper turquoise color with the peach I just oh, perfection you do get an extra full box here on the side it has been a while since I've used a caress press kit so I'm excited to hopefully pull this in I'm thinking in August but it may have to be pushed to September at this point I'm not entirely sure so that is a Just Peachy. And then it, I did pick up the foil bundle that went along with it. I figured, why not? And it's really, really gorgeous. So it's like a champagne gold color, I guess a light gold color. We have this box here that says Life's Just Peachy. I like that it's like customized to the kit for sure. Uh, and then this pattern is more of like a what do you call it? Like a twinkle pattern with the little like stars and things in, in there. Uh, so the same goes with the full box overlays. It's in that twinkle pattern. And then for the bottom washi, you have a row of bows and then a row of the twinkle pattern. You've got your full box or sorry, whole reinforcers, your flags, and then your scripts down the bottom there as well. So that is everything that I picked up from Caress Press. So next up we have Once More With Love. This is a little bit of an older order that I've been hanging on to for a while. We have this adorable journaling card. And then as I mentioned, it's a little bit older. So this is the freebie from April, but really, really cute. I love this duck down here. That is so funny. All right, so I think this is a pretty small 
border here. I just picked up some sheets. Um, I think she had some new releases that I really wanted, like this Take a Walk one. Uh, walks are something I've been really trying to incorporate within my daily routine. Uh, whether I'm going with Daisy or just by myself to get some exercise in, I've been really enjoying them just as like a de-stress moment. I listen to an audiobook or a podcast or some music and I just like tune out. So I wanted to have these walk stickers. We also have puppy cuddles, which are just so cute. And, you know, since working from home, I have found like one of my favorite things is cuddling with Daisy and I have so much more time with her. So I wanted these puppy cuddles. We also have puppy treats, which is super, super cute. Oh, I also got these wax melt ones. I totally forgot that I had these, but I love them. We also have procrastination, which yeah, we all get that sometimes. And then I also picked up the sweaters of David. I've watched Schitt's Creek like a bunch, but I think I'm due for a rewatch of the series. So picked up sweaters of David and then also best wishes, warmest regards, which is awesome. Ew, David is probably one of my favorite sayings from the show. I just think it's hilarious. The like, you get murdered first. Ugh, Alexis, just perfection. So got those. And then I also got the rise and shine because I am trying to wake up earlier. So I thought these might be good maybe at the sidebar for my habit tracker or something like that. So that is everything that I picked up from Once More With Love. And next up, we have Letters to Apollo, starting off with this adorable journaling card. Super cool. Really, I don't know, what do you call it? celestial um i really like this my cloud planner for next year is black and i thought this would be perfect to go in my planner spread for 2022 so i will be hanging on to this i want to make sure i don't lose it all right so let's start off here i thought this order got lost in the mail it took quite a while but i think there's some issues going on with usps lately and it just took a really long time to get to me so starting off we do have the old pr freebie um she now has individual pr freebies based on um the person's code that you use this is back when we had like the full planner uh, pr team so uh you can't get this one anymore but definitely Definitely check out her PR team to see their individual freebies. All right, so this is when she released a bunch of new scripts uh, in the $2 Tuesday format. So just these little tiny sheets and they were so perfect. The size of them is a little bit smaller and I just think they are perfect and I cannot wait to start using them. So I have quite a few here. So I got most of them in black, but the exercise one I decided to get in all of the foils just because I am you know, on an exercise kick right now. So I thought it would be good to have all of the different foil options. So we have a black first, which is obviously not foiled. Um, and then we have a silver, we have rose gold. I always pick up light gold because that's just like my preference. She does have a regular gold as well. And then we also have hollow here, which is super pretty. All right, and then the next ones are all just black. So we have walk dog, day off. So you can see like it's like a much tinier um, script here and definitely would fit nicely within a column with like an icon next to it or some deco next to it, really pretty. And then we have work late, which again is like stacked instead of taking up the whole column. We have lazy time, grocery shop, whoops. We have a tidy up and payday. So I just picked up a few that I, you know, thought I would use, but I have a feeling, I think she said that she's going to be releasing like more of her scripts in this kind of a style because they did really well when she had them for $2 Tuesday. And while I was there, I had to pick up a kit because I have a problem and I just love kits so much and Letters to Apollo has one of my all-time favorite kit formats and this one was just too gorgeous to not pick up. It is called Sunshine and I love it so much. It is just these like really pretty like soft picnic like feminine floral elements. I love it so much and it says here in the quote box, friends bring sunshine on a cloudy day. And oh, I love it so much. This like white 
wood grain pattern in the back. Oh, I love it. I am a sucker for that for sure. So we have our nine full boxes and then some labels down here at the bottom, which are foiled. And then we have the gorgeous confetti headers. Oh, so pretty. Your weekly like sidebar stuff, some bow checklist flags. These are a new addition to the kit and they are so much fun. I love these little like fancy frame boxes. We have some flags and then a few little arrows here. And then we also have these, which are gorgeous as well. Your scallop circles, which it looks like the foiling is a little bit off on that one, but not a big deal. And then you have two box options as well with the bows at the top. And then all sorts of boxes, which are really fun. So some half boxes, quarter boxes. I love these ones with the floral, or sorry, the foil elements to them with the little butterfly and the bee. That is so much fun. And then you do have some labels down here at the bottom, obviously some are foiled and some are not which gives you a good variety lots of options and then of course her bottom washi oh so pretty i love that this one's a little bit busier you've got some of those like florals and and little bugs and stuff like that i guess butterflies i shouldn't call them bugs um but all in there and then you have this one that's a little bit more simple with that like white uh wood grain pattern really pretty i love that she chose this yellow for the date covers i think that was perfect you have some layering items here your headers and habit trackers so awesome awesome kit i cannot wait to use that and that is everything that i got from letters to apollo all right so this next shop i have a ton of orders that have come in and they all came in around the same time because there was just some delays happening i think with international mail in general and it was just so frustrating waiting for all of this to come in um but this is a hefty hefty stack from scribble prince co so she did have a sale so i picked up a few items during her anniversary sale she also did a misfit sale so i picked up 15 ultimate kits and then i do have two mystery subscriptions that came in around the same time so let's get started i spoiler alert right now you will see the mystery kits for both may and june if you're not interested i'll try and keep them to the end but at this point i'm pretty sure everybody's seen them so during her sale i decided to pick up a pack of her glitter headers these are just like random ones i they're just such a good deal and i love glitter headers so i tend to pull them in a lot so these are just the ones that came in my uh, grab bag and i love them all i think her glitter texture is my favorite um, not a fan of these ones with like the extra like foil color in them but whatever i'm gonna make it work this one's super pretty i love all of those colors can definitely pull these in and i do use like these glitter headers a lot so this is like i think the third or fourth time that i have bought uh one of her header grab bags and i go through them pretty quickly so there's some colors that are a little bit unique and i don't tend to use them but for the most part i just find these are such a great deal and it looks like um this was a rack bag that was included in my order as well, which is really, really fun. Uh, so yeah, this is a misfit rack bag. So first up you get this with some rose gold uh, scripts on there. We have this collab sheet with wonton in a million, and then some sheets from the high-end collection or Lux collection, I think it was. Oh, I don't even know now. Now I just saw this like, little Louis inspired bag and was thinking it was the high end one, but I have no idea. But anyway, it is nice that all the sheets kind of coordinate. And um, if you have these full boxes, you could definitely like make a full spread. I know some people are really good at that. That's just never been my thing, but I love that she includes these little rack bags and it's just kind of like a fun surprise to see. And then also during her sale, uh, I picked up this kit, which is a reformat, and I actually have the original one, but I wanted to use this for my fiance's birthday, which I since have found a different kit, but whatever. Um, I still really like this and I'll use it for his birthday maybe next year, but it is like a gamer inspired kit, which is really fun. And I just love the colors here in general. So vibrant, so pretty. Um, 
I just, I love it so much. I think this is the perfect kit to pull in like a really fun foil with and I'm excited to have it in my collection and can't wait to actually use it. And the freebie for this kit was so fun. I love the little controllers. I think that is so cute. And then also I picked up the label sampler to go along with it because I did pick up the mini kit. So I wanted the extra boxes just to make it really full. Um, but since I do have the original kit, which is also a mini kit, I'm thinking of just combining them and using them together. And then while I was there, I also picked up the brides uh, from this collection and <sighs> I'm kind of stupid. Uh, I have this kit from Murdoch Talks and I thought that the kit didn't include a brunette bride, which is what I wanted. And then I found out that it was just on another page. So I probably didn't need these, especially like four different brides when I only like really needed her, but whatever, what are you gonna do? Now I have like lots of brides to pull into future spreads. So that was everything from her anniversary sale. I think I'm gonna show the Misfit kits now. So I'm not gonna go through all of these individually. Uh, the kit format is like, it's an ultimate kit. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all familiar um, with SPC's ultimate kit format, but if you're not, uh, I will be going through the mystery kits at the end of this video. So you'll see a thorough walkthrough of the ultimate kit format through that. This is more so just to show you which misfit kits that I got um, in this round and I think I'm gonna have to stop buying the misfits from now on because I do have quite a few of these or like from SPC I have quite a few but also I have the artwork from other shops and so now I just have duplicates so you know what I think I'm gonna have to take a break on the misfit kits for a while so first up we have Isabel which I did get in the last round of misfit pulls this one's really really pretty though love the pastels love the colors it's really really cute kind of anytime kit but unfortunately I already have it so I think I'm gonna be doing some giveaways um, there are some that I'll probably sell as well uh, I was thinking about maybe doing like some grab bags of my own I'm not really sure but stay tuned for that declutter video because I will give more details at that time. I also got the April mystery kit which of course I do have because I am subscribed to the uh, SVC monthly mysteries. This one was one of my favorites though. I think it's really really pretty with this like ice cream theme. We also have leopard which of course I already have because it's leopard and I needed it. But I think I will be keeping this one because I just love it so much and I can never have enough leopard in my life. And then we got the November 2020 mystery, which again, I am a subscriber, so I do have this already. But it is a really fun, like, icy mermaid collection. And then His Day, which is like a Father's Day inspired artwork. Um, I did use this last year in my planner and I love the way it turned out. It's hard to find like a really good Father's Day kit and I thought this was perfect for that. So I think maybe in 2022, I'll use that for Father's Day again. And then we have Homebound, which I do have as artwork from several other planner shops, but I do like the colors that SPC use, so I, pr I will probably be keeping this one. And then we have Lost in Paradise. Again, I own this artwork from a few other shops, so not sure if I'll be hanging on to this one or not. And then I have Aspen, which I love this kit so much. Uh, I do have it from another shop, like the artwork, but so pretty. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one because this is like all time favorite, like color schemes, the pops of yellow and that like terracotta color, just amazing. And then we have Happy Mail, which you guys would have seen. Recently, I did a plan with me actually using this artwork and I love it, it's really pretty. Definitely something I could see pulling in in the future. And then we have Two Worlds, which again, I do have a couple shops uh, with this artwork because I thought it was really fun. And I actually think that this guy kind of looks like my fiance if he had red hair. So anyway, that is fun. And then, so those are all the kits that I either already had or had the artwork. And then these next five kits were the only ones that were like purely new to me or purely like I didn't have this artwork from another shop. So first up we have School Days, which is really cute. 
I'm not planning on going back to school anytime soon, so not sure if I'm gonna hang on to this one or not. Um, I also got this one, which is called Sparkle School, which again, not sure if I'm gonna be hanging on to this. It is really pretty. I love the pastel colors. This box here with this like giant iced coffee, I like want that right now. Uh, but again, not sure if I'm gonna be hanging on to it. And then we have Backyard Paradise, which really pretty kit, really fun, like summery colors, but it's a little too, um, like kiddish for me. Uh, I don't have children, so I just feel like if I was to have like a pool party, it wouldn't have this vibe to it. So not sure if I'm gonna keep that. But these were my two all time favorite kits to get. Super excited about both of these. Um, kind of disappointing that it was only two out of 15 that I'm like super excited about. I love them all, don't get me wrong. I love them all, but, and that's why I already owned them. That makes sense, right? Because I like them so much. Uh, but these two are my favorites to get. So this one I wanted to pick up last year, but I just like had no room for it. So I restrained myself, but now I have it and I'm so excited. This is called Boo and I love how clean this is with like white and black and pops of orange. It's just so gorgeous, so clean looking and it just really, really pops. Love Boo. And then finally, I got Dead Inside, which I thought this was a really, really fun kit as well. I saw Curse and Plans use this kit last year, and I was like, why did I not get this? I love it so much. This girl here is just so sassy, so beautiful. I love it. So those were my two favorites from the Mystery Pool. Uh, pull. Uh, again, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, but stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed because I will have details about like, declutters, de-stashing in my upcoming kit collection video. All right, so now let's get into these mysteries. So we'll start off with May. Let's see here. So this is the May 2021 mystery kit, and it's really, really fun. It does remind me of a mystery kit from a few years ago, but just like an upgraded version of it. Really pretty, love the colors. This like turquoise with the orange, really fun, like really fresh, love it so much. So here are the full boxes. This like extra tall box here is really pretty. I love the pattern boxes as well. And I love that she did them with white to not make it like too bold. There's like some palette cleansers in here with a lot of white tied in. So obviously um, we do have our square boxes here, some half boxes, and then your ombre heart checklist. Lots of really fun deco here, really cute. Your weekend banner, uh, weekly sidebar, some flags and work labels. I love that her kits include the glitter headers now. Obviously they have for a while, but I just think that's really great. Uh, and then we do have some extra headers, your habit trackers, your three heart checklist, your movie marquees. These colors are just so pretty. I haven't used a really bold kit like this in a while. I've just been feeling very like muted spreads, but this is so gorgeous. All of your labels, little things, washi strips, pattern stuff, like that's so pretty. With the white, it just gives it like a clean element. The terrazzo print, bottom washi, extra fashion girls here, this like extra like deep turquoise color to pull in. Lots of extra fashion girls here with some different skin tones and hair colors. I love this barbecue picture here and the bottom washi. And then she always includes a foil bundle. And I thought this one was really, really fun because she decided to do a really bold foil with it. And it's like this like sparkly orange color, which is so fun for a kit like this. Like you need a fun foil to go with a kit like this. So I think that's great. Uh, we have some full box overlays. It looks like these are header overlays and this is in like a star pattern, which is really fun. So you get two sheets of those. Then you get two sheets of the bougie box underlays. And then we have scripts, your weekend banner, all of these little tiny foiled icons, which are really, really cute. I am feeling those. 
and then the star bottom washi overlays, more header overlays, star deco, and your date dots as well. So I love her mystery subscriptions. I think it is such a good value um, for what you get. And I don't know, I don't think I've been disappointed in any of them really. I mean, maybe there are some that weren't like totally my style, but I still think they are such a great value. So I love them. All right, and the last one is the June 2021 mystery kit. As I've been saying throughout this entire video, I'm loving a muted color palette right now. So this June um, kit just really, really spoke to me. And I think it is gorgeous. The blues and pinks, look at this flat lay here. All of the like ingredients for s'mores, oh, it just looks so good. And like honestly, like going to a cottage right now, playing a bunch of board games and card games, that just seems like such a good time. I am, I'm down for that. If anybody has a cottage, I'm coming. I just love this so much. Actually, this like long champ bag back in the day, I had this exact one. I miss it. I have a brown one now, but it's not the same. I loved like the bold color of that. She is stunning, love this. Um, and then you got here like your patterns with the browns and pinks, again, bringing in a lot of like white to make it very like clean and fresh looking. All of this gorgeous deco. Obviously the format here isn't any different. It is um, the ultimate kit format, which is so pretty. Love these colors. And like what a difference between May and June, like complete opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of like planner kind of spreads but I think these are both gorgeous and kind of you can tap into like whatever mood you're feeling. It feels like there's always something for everybody within these kits. She's beautiful too. I love the red hair, so much fun. Oh, she's got like ombre hair, that's fun. Yeah, so that is the June mystery kit. And as I mentioned, you always get a foil bundle to go along with it. And this one's a really, really fun foil. It's like a sparkly gold hollow. I don't know it's fun and you've got like some like florals and palm leaves that's really really pretty I love that I don't even know yeah I guess it goes with this vibe I don't know this feels like very tropical to me whereas like this feels very like cottage to me so anyway I don't know it's fun so you have your full box overlays as I mentioned and then these look to be more of a confetti style um header overlay so you get two sheets of those and of course your two sheets of the bougie underlays your scripts and icons and then oh this is pretty I love these the little like hibiscus flowers and then the like tropical leaves that's really cute and then the extra set of header overlays these little like confetti pieces up here and then your date numbers as well so I love that I love that she's trying out some new like foil options and like foil formats I think that's really fun so that is the June mystery subscription and that's everything that I got from SPC which I know that was a lot to get through I do have a referral a link for SPC in my description box below so definitely check that out if you're interested all right so that is everything for today that was a very kit heavy haul so I think you guys can understand why I desperately need to do some kit decluttering and really go through my collection so that I can make sure to use these um, hopefully this year I mean that's the goal I want to get down to like you know, a year's worth of kits and that's it, not five years of kits. So stay tuned if you want to see that kit declutter video. Uh, hopefully it will be up, you know, in the next week or so, uh, but make sure you are subscribed if you want to check that out. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will have all of the shops linked down below. And if I do have coupon codes or referral links, I'll make sure to include those for you as well. So I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.